it's Deanna with Stitches Quilting and uh, we are trying the three camera view and so we'll see how this is work but today if you guys are on there we are going to be making the little baby shoes and so I've got the Cricut Maker woo, the Cricut Maker right here to show you how we are going to sew these together I just did a blog post all about the Cricut Maker and making these little baby shoes. So I'm gonna show you how to sew these together and do a couple other things, but it's a little tiny baby shoes um, is what we're gonna be making. So it should be really fun. And baby Ellie is just right over there. So we should be able to see her too. So I can't wait. I'm really, really excited. All right, so I don't know if you can hear her cooing, but she's cooing right now. So it's pretty cute. Um, so let me go ahead and show you a couple things about this. And the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the Cricut Maker. So here's the Cricut Maker right here. And I'm gonna set down the pieces and I'm gonna show you how this works. So we're on this camera, on the front camera view, but I'm gonna open this up and you can see how the Cricut Maker works here. And what we use whenever I'm using the Cricut Maker is I'm using the rotary blade. And that is how I cut out everything with these shoes. So all of this, and it's a little teeny tiny rotary blade. In fact, um, let's see here, Matt, can we show them the overhead view, maybe? So let me go ahead and show you the overhead view and what that looks like. So it looks like this teeny tiny little rotary blade right here, and it goes into the Cricut Maker. You guys, I'm trying, let me know if my voice is off or anything else. So you put it in here and you go like that and it just, ta-da, it just does it. So it cuts and it does everything else. So I'm gonna show you a couple other things and let me turn on my, um, let me turn on my Facebook so I can see any comments or things like that. But let's turn this around and I'm gonna show you how you can make this work. So let's put the Cricut Maker right here. And what you do is you use a pink fabric grip mat. So you turn on your Cricut Design Space, which is an app in your phone, or you can use it on a computer, you can use it on whatever you want. And I'm gonna show you which pattern I used for the cute little baby shoe right here. Oh, it tells me I have to sign in on this phone, doggone it. Um, so I'll, I'll turn this on in just a minute, but let me go ahead and show you what we cut out with this. So I guess I can put in my password. Um, hold on for one second. This is what we're making, and these are the pieces that um, cut out with this. We just finally got this, possibly the three camera view actually working. So let's look. Oh, unsuccessful sign in. Don't you hate trying to put in your passwords when you're like on live? Okay, hold on. Okay, wait, I'm doing this wrong. One minute. I'm not, in fact, I just had to change a whole bunch of passwords because I was, um, got a new computer. Okay, here we go. Can you read this? Oh, yes, hi, Delinda. Hi, Catherine. Oh. I'm so glad you guys are here. Hi, Dee Dee. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me show you. I got signed in to Cricut Design Space. So let's go ahead. What I'm gonna search for is, I'm gonna search baby on here on Cricut Design Space, and you will see that the baby shoes are right here. Can you see that little picture? I tap on that, and then the baby shoes come right up and it has all the instructions of everything you need to make and everything like that. Now, I could be having a pair of baby shoes be cutting out in the background, but I wanna show you how to stitch these together. So let's go ahead and look at this again. So here's the little baby shoe, and what we are doing, and normally this fabric fit mat, this little adhesive plastic is off. But what we cut out here is I cut out a piece of fabric with some adhesive on it some wonder under wonder under and I cut out um, some felt but on the felt I went ahead and I put some wonder under on there now I'm gonna iron these together so that you guys can see how to do this 
So what I wanna focus on here is the shoe construction, all right? So let's go ahead and move this aside and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna move this Cricut Maker over and will you switch it back to the front camera, Matt? Thank you, okay. So we have some shoe shapes right here and this shape right here is the back and all this is is a piece of felt um, and it's just a simple piece of felt I ironed on this pink polka dot first. If you're interested in the instructions for this or to see how we did our little baby shower for everything, then go ahead and um, and ask for, you know, show me the pattern or show me how to make this. Matt, what other words did we put in there? Uh, baby uh, shoes. Yeah, baby shoes, any of that kind of stuff. But you can see I cut out these pieces right here. And the pieces then um, went right onto here. So this was already ironed on together. I used a heavier weight and here's the shoe bottom. All right. And once again, we've got this piece, this, I have already ironed everything together. Let's go ahead and flip it to the overhead camera. Okay. So on the overhead camera, you can see, cause I'm going to iron these on with the Cricut easy press. So here is everything ironed together right there. And this piece right here is completely ironed together. So let's grab the Cricut Easy Press. This is the Easy Press mat. And we are going to iron these together. So you can see this, this is a shadow of this piece. And when I cut this out, I put a bonding adhesive on there. So I put a bonding adhesive on there. And now I'm going to iron it on to this. Okay, just like so. And then on this one, I put a bonding adhesive onto this one. So, and we have some prizes for this video. We'll go ahead and have some giveaways. So if you guys can share the video and also um, let me know um, that you're here by commenting and everything else and then I'll know who to have win this. Okay, so you can see right here, let me move this a little bit further over. I have the Cricut Easy Press. It's at 370 degrees. Um, I think a regular iron, anything will work for this as, as I've done in the past. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna iron this loose fabric to the other side of this felt, okay? And then we're gonna construct and sew the shoes. It's gonna be so fun. And I have a camera on the sewing machine so you guys can watch me how I do this okay so the first step of what we're gonna do so we've got these pieces so this piece right here you can see the Cricut cut out the notches and everything so this goes oops this is the inside of the shoe is the polka dot now on the Cricut um, pattern it did the shoe itself did not have sorry I shouldn't so the the Cricut pattern did not have a shoe lining inside of there so I really wanted the polka dot to show through so this this little shell here with the little notches is going with this one and this little one is going to go right here what's really fun is just to see something so cute and little sewn up and how you would sew a shoe I mean it's just really amazing so let's go ahead and get busy on this all right so what we are going to need to do is let's go ahead and move it over to the sewing machine mat, if you don't mind. Um, we are gonna sew these first two things first. And you can see, let me make sure this is in focus. So I'm gonna sew these right sides together. Let me maybe move this camera back a little bit more. Well, I don't know. But I am gonna sew this so it's right sides together. This is the, the outside of the shoe right here. So we're gonna sew this right sides together and we're gonna have these two notches match, which I don't know about you, but when I sew, I sometimes get really lazy. You don't have a Cricut. Can you still get the patterns without having a Cricut? You know what? I am sure that there is a little shoe pattern out there, but what you're gonna appreciate is just watching a shoe being stitched together. So you can buy a Cricut or it's just nice to know what a Cricut can actually do. So what I'm going to do is actually stitch on this. Um, I would have to design a different shoe and this is actually a pattern from Simplicity that um, actually made this. So I wouldn't want to 
um, to actually, you know, share their pattern because, you know, that's just not cool, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a back stitch here. I'm gonna hit the back stitch. Oh, you can't see that. Hold on, let me raise up the camera view a little bit more. But let me do, a, let me go ahead and just stitch it a little bit more. Okay, and let's bring this um, off of the sewing machine. So you can see here that I have now stitched that completely together. And it's amazing how tight and tough it is. So we just sewed this part of the shoe. Ashley, do you think we could have Baby Ellie in the video for a minute? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, she's so cute. So we can go to camera number two, right? Yeah, no, you're all right. Okay, here we go. Here she comes. Here's our little Baby Ellie. Isn't she so cute? She's sleeping. This might not be nice to do to a sleeping baby. You guys, she's so cute. Oh, that's Jimmy John's. We ordered Jimmy John's. Mm. Baby Ellie, you don't really like this, huh? Oh, you can leave it open because Ashley will need to come back in. But um, let Matt, let's do the overhead view. Um, let's show her on the overhead view. Look at her. Isn't she cute? Oh my gosh, she was asleep, you guys. We woke her up. And I tried on her baby shoe and it's still a little big for her. But she's so cute, you guys, look. But she's she's feeling a little fussy. Well, cause I probably just woke her up. But isn't she so adorable, you guys? Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so cute. But I'm gonna give her back to mommy cause mommy just went and grabbed Jimmy John's and we'll keep sewing this up. Oh, she's so adorable. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch back over to camera number three. Now, what we need to do here, guys, is I'm gonna to snip off these extra little threads and we are going to construct this little shoe. Thanks, Ashley, for sharing with us. We adore you. Okay, so right here now, we're going to match this part of, the, of, the, of this all together right here. So see how we're matching this up and we can sew this all the way around. But before I do that, I actually need to sew this strap in. So see how we have this little strap right here. So I'm going to construct this little tiny strap to come over and Velcro on that side. So before we stitch this all the way around, which we could do very quickly, and I could show you how it works. Does that make sense? I wanna put the strap in. So why don't we go ahead and let's line this up real fast because I can easily unpick that and we can sew together the other shoe. So let me put in some pins. Um, just so for those of you that don't feel like watching a super long video that you can actually, you guys, are my words matching my movement with the camera? Are my words or is my voice halfway off? Um, yes, Catherine, new, ba new babies smell so good. They really do. Oh my gosh. And she smells extra, extra wonderful. The other thing that you want to do is you really want to trim off these extra seams right here uh, as you're stitching this down. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that down because we don't need a super thick seam like that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm just pinning this on here. So I've got a good idea of where that's coming from. So you can see, you guys, I love this close up view with the camera. It's maybe going in and out of focus just a little bit, but I'll get that fixed. Um, and, but oh my gosh, I'm gonna do lives probably every day now that I have my cameras all set up. It took Matt, Matt how long did it take us to figure this out today? A couple hours. A couple hours, yeah, but. Once we have it set up, we're using a new computer, a brand new computer to do this. And then I'll show you guys my equipment sometime of all of how we have everything set up. Okay, so there's the shoe, you know, pinned in here, which I'm gonna take out these pins as we go along. And the other cameras are matching up. I'm so glad. Oh, Heather, it's taken me forever to do this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna sew this on here. Okay, so you can see that's all pinned on this back side. I matched up my notches. That one could probably be matched up a little better, but we're not too worried about that. So now let me go ahead and I'm gonna I'm going to stitch this and I'm gonna go ever so slowly. And when I need to, I'm gonna actually pull out a pin. 
And I didn't leave much of a seam allowance in here in these shoes. So let me go ahead and bring this around and bring this around. And let's see what we've got here. You guys, thanks for being here. This is so fun. Oh, hey, Matt, is our restream chat not working? Maybe we have a new restream key. We'll have to figure that out. See the blue box on the video, you guys? That should show up all the comments on um, Facebook, or maybe we just don't see it on the video. It'll show up. Hi, Luke. Did you go play that football? Ooh, Luke went to the park today. It was pretty enough to go to the park. I'm going to take out some of these pins because it's getting a little awkward in here with all these pins. Luke really wanted to go to the park and play football today. I, is, how's your weather? Is the weather good enough for some, some park activity? Um, yesterday, my son and Ashley, for the first time, took baby Ellie to the park. And then Ashley went to the park today with baby Ellie, and she walked two miles pushing her in the stroller. Isn't that so fun? I love when spring comes. I really do. It means so much to me. Oh, let me bring this back. Sorry, this what? camera. It's this camera. Oh, okay. oh, actually, we lost our 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 juice on this camera. Okay. Sorry. Okay, a battery went dead. Let's go ahead and go overhead. Okay, you guys, I'll finish. Let me just stitch this really carefully. So I we've been working with this that one of the back camera batteries went dead, but that's okay. Next time we won't do have to do so much pre work. Okay, so you can see here that I've gone ahead and I. I, here's the pins that I had left in there and we don't have the little strap in there but I'm going to show you how to do that but I just want you guys to get the concept of how this works so and I can actually do it a little bit later but let's turn this shoe inside out I mean it's just so easy and all this is is felt fabric you guys I mean isn't that crazy that just felt fabric would would make a little shoe. I never thought about how to make a baby shoe before. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, walking is really good. I need to go walking with them too. Oop, there's a little spot I didn't catch. So I can catch that in the next in the next little bit. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to actually put on a piece of velcro over here. Okay, and I like to do that before I stitch this on. So let's go ahead and show you. So what I do is I put a piece of the fuzzy, um, just the regular fuzzy Velcro right here. And then I put a piece of the prickly Velcro on the strap, all right? And then that way we go ahead and we put this on first on this part of it before you bend it around. And we're gonna put the strap and stitch the strap down. But I wanted you guys to get a vision of how you put together a little baby shoe. Isn't that amazing? And if you wanted to, you could actually bring this in a bit closer here so that this, so it's kind of cupping the foot a little bit better. So you can really customize the baby shoe so it fits whatever size. And I don't know, maybe if I didn't use such a tiny, tiny little um, seam allowance, maybe it actually would work out where, you know, it was a smaller shoe. I mean, I mean, what do we know about that? Okay, so go ahead. Let's go ahead and go to the, I'm going to grab something over here. So these are my extra pieces of this fabric. I want to show you what else I made is I made this little apron, right? Excuse me. It's not apron. It's a bib in the same fabrics. And I, once again, I cut this out with the Cricut Maker. So you can see here is my seam right there and I've turned it inside out. So I'm gonna do a video on how I'm finishing that once again. But of course, you know, you can find little patterns um, just about anywhere. I'm trying to see if I've got my little piece of the, this fabric right here and I don't. Um, so you guys, tell me any questions you have Let's go ahead and maybe go on the frontal view camera. And I am going to grab my, so oh, we're on the front. Oh, yay, it's so fast. 
how we're able to do that now. It's just crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I, I have my Velcro sitting right next to me, but I don't have my little straps. We kind of got the cameras to work, so we just spontaneously did a live video. But I think you can get a concept of how we did the shoe. You can see how fast that was. I mean, we just went ahead and we matched seams on this. And then once we match the seams, you sew it together and you're done. So what I need to do is go ahead and grab the little fabric for this right here, um, because I have that cut. It's actually cut in the other room though, where we cut some of our fabric and our kits and stuff like that. But this is definitely a good way for you to see how to do like a little tiny baby shoe and it really is just super, super, super simple. You can even take apart a baby shoe that maybe you might have and remake a baby shoe. So anyways, you guys, I love you guys tons. And Matt, do we have some winners? And just for the sake of winning, oh, Matt picked out some winners. Yay, he's so sweet. Okay, so is this just on Facebook? Yeah. Did we stream to YouTube, do you think? Yeah. I found their comments are working we're just not displaying the box right that's now. okay but if we have anybody on youtube i'd love do you do you think you can find some winners on youtube um matt i'm sorry you guys we're we're just brand new at, at streaming this okay so let's do some more of these little banners i know i've given them away so many times but they're so fun and hopefully you guys can win so many you'll have a collection at your own home okay so we'll see so for winners for facebook we've got heather Tumblesome, um, T-U-M-B-L-E-S-O-N, and Sarah Thiessen. So we have those two. And um, we actually, she just won last week. <laughs> um, let's do Elizabeth Collins um, on YouTube. And, that's Facebook. Oh, that's, oh, that's Facebook? Yeah, these are Facebook. Oh, right. okay. So three on Facebook then, Elizabeth Collins too. And then YouTube, um, well, we just have Dolores. So Dolores Rast, you won another one of these. So your guys are so awesome to keep coming on. So that's the only person that we can see live on YouTube right now that's actually making comments. But this is like our first little live stream experiment. So maybe there's other people and we can't see it. So we have four winners. So we have, um, and Matt has everything written down. So direct message me your, um, your, your mailing address and let me know which one of these banners you'd like. There's cut, so repeat. I've got multiples of all of them. One that's a pink banner that says um, quilter. Another one that's a teal banner that says sewist. Another one that says stitch please, that's red. So, and we might be doing a couple more lives. We'll do some little mini lives because we wanna work out all the details before our live tomorrow um, for the self care block. But, and I actually think we'll redo some of our lives for um, the different uh, blocks for the Live Well, Live Strong quilt that is behind me. So the Live Well, Live Strong quilt is the, um, is designed and it's about health and women's health and wellness as 26 quilt blocks about women's health and wellness. So that'll be our live video for tomorrow. But we're gonna probably spit out a couple live videos today um, as we kind of work down the tweaks so that you guys can see the comments that are streaming and all of that from Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So love you guys tons. We'll see you guys a little bit later. Thank you so much. And we'll see you soon. These little baby shoes are cute. I can't wait for them to fit on Ellie.